Okay, so I'm going to review the last movie that I actually seen in theaters, and that is Jack Reacher. Um, I actually recorded this at, along with Django, and this is 40. I recorded their views uh, Christmas Eve, but they were just like 25 minutes long, and they were just too brutal to edit. So I'm just going to try and do it in one take. Hopefully there's not too many ums and uh, fuck-ups, and if there is, I apologize. But uh, my review for Jack Reacher, I have to throw it out there first is that I actually went into this movie entirely blind. And it's because I no longer watch movie trailers. And I brought that up in my very first video I ever made. I think it it really helps going into a movie totally blind, not knowing what the storyline is. Because if you think you know too much about the movie, it'll make you, I want to say, not pay attention to, to it as much. And when you go into something totally blind, you are forced to pay attention to it because you have no clue what it's about. You may know the actors or the story, like a brief synopsis of the movie, but you don't know how it's going to be depicted. And uh, that's how it was with Jack Reacher. I went in never seeing anything. I know people were giving the movie a lot of shit because Tom Cruise, uh, the character Jack Reacher is played by Tom Cruise, and apparently he's supposed to be like six foot six and 240 pounds, and Tom Cruise is five nine, like 210. You know, he's just a small, built dude. And uh, that doesn't faze me because I think Tom Cruise plays a charismatic uh, action hero very well. So, you know, that, does, that doesn't... I don't like Tom Cruise. I think the shit on TV and everything is really annoying. But I don't mind the guy in action movies. In fact, I actually love Mission Impossible 4. It was one of my favorite movies of last year. And uh, it really was his career rejuvenations. And that continues with... That, uh, with Jack Reacher. Um, I walked out of the movie and I and I really, really enjoyed it. It was a fun uh, action movie with a simple plot that you don't have to pay too much attention to. I think it may it may think its storyline is very complex, but it's not. Uh, it's it may try to throw some twists and turns at you, but if you have any kind of common sense, you know them already. Uh, except for the woman behind me in the theaters, who at one point shed, said, oh shit, it's the bad guy. You know, so it's just like, hey, I'm not spoiling it or nothing, but uh, I if I don't know, maybe you'll find a twist in the movie. But I didn't, I seen it coming at the, from the first two minutes of the movie. And uh, But Jack Reacher, here's what I, I give the most credit to the movie, is that there's an amazing chemistry between... Tom Cruise and Roseman Pike, who are kind of like the two leads of the film. And because of that, I loved, well, not loved it, but I really liked uh, Jack Reacher. Uh, Roseman Pike is truly a beautiful woman. She has an amazing body. She has a beautiful voice, beautiful eyes, beautiful face, beautiful everything. She is a 10 out of 10, man. She's a perfect girl and a perfect casting because she's kind of an unknown girl. I didn't really, I knew... I knew the name, but I didn't know who she was until I got home and IMDb beat her. And uh, she was just perfect in this movie. Um, you know, obviously her acting is it's nothing to brag about, but I think she did a great job in this movie, and she had great chemistry with uh, with Tom Cruise. And that's the thing that makes me like the movie the most, and that's what makes me want another sequel, is because of the great chemistry, and they're going to be working together in the next movie too. So I have to throw that out there. And uh, the storyline, like I said, is not too complex. It's just a, it's a simple storyline with, but it's cool. It reminds me a lot of uh, Shooter with Mark Wahlberg. It's very similar storyline. Um, actually, really similar, very very similar in my opinion. But it's just, it's a, it's a fun action movie. And Tom Cruise has some cool lines of dialogue. There's some, there's some fun performances. Nothing too great. Uh, Warner Herzog is in the film, who's a, an acclaimed director, uh, especially he directs documentaries and is very acclaimed for it. And it's just, it's kind of weird because, no offense to Jack Reacher, I don't think it's cinematic gold or nothing. And it just, it just always gets me when these guys who are such acclaimed directors, they, uh, they go and do s movies like this. I mean, there's, I don't know why Warner Herzog, if that's how I'm pronouncing, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. It goes, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do an action movie with Tom Cruise. You know, I don't get that. I just never have. 
and it, it's the case in a lot of films. And uh, but going back to the movie, I would say that uh, the best thing about this movie is that it's very simple. It's a fun movie with some awesome action directing. Uh, it's spot on. It's a movie that you can just on like a Sunday morning, on six in the morning on TNT, turn on, start at any point, and just have fun with it. There's some cool chase sequences, some cool fighting sequences. Um, I'm not the hugest action fan, so when I do like them, it's kind of rare. And I really enjoy Jack Reach, and I think a lot of it has to do with the amazing chemistry. And then I went in seeing it blind. You know, who knows, the second viewing, I might really dislike it. I don't, I don't think so, but going into it totally blind, I think, really helped my opinions of it because I was forced to truly pay attention to the movie. And I would give Jack Reacher an 8 out of 10, um, maybe a 7, about an 8, 8 out of 10, excuse me. But uh, it, I had a hell of a time with it. I would buy it on Blu-ray. Um, it's just a movie I would rewatch, and I think it was a lot of fun. Uh, nothing great, but Tom Cruise is really on a career rejuvenation right now. Um, he's got Oblivion coming out next year, which I heard the trailer is awesome. He's got another sci-fi movie, probably some more action movies lined up. Um, this dude really has turned around his career, besides from all the personal shit that's going on with him. And uh, I'm enjoying the ride because I loved, I loved Mission Impossible last year, and I think this one is a fun action movie. And uh, go see Jack Reacher. I think everyone can enjoy this movie, even if you're a, a film lover and, and a little bit harsher of a critic and don't like action movies, kind of like myself, I would say that, you know, just go into it and don't expect much because it's not a fantastic movie. You know, it's, it is it is a little cheesy, but you can have a lot of fun with it. And if you do that, I think you'll really enjoy the movie. Um, I Again, I'd give it an eight. Go see it. Uh, it's a good movie. It's point everywhere. Um, thanks.